video I'm going to be like having an all nighter by reading um i was actually going to do a 24 hour challenge however i'm just way too busy um in the next 24 hours like i've just got so much to do but i really really want to just have some time reading and so i decided instead of doing a 24 hour challenge i would do an all nighter and read because i feel like i can function doing an all nighter but i don't think i can function whilst i'm so busy um doing a 24 hour challenge and that's why i'm doing that so i know this isn't really like a trend that's been going around or anything i've pretty much just randomly come up with this one based off of the 24 hour challenge i'm literally probably not even doing a full half of the 24 hour challenge um but i just really wanted to do an all night to, to give some time into reading so the reason i don't even know why i haven't been reading a lot this month we're in february and i read 14 books last month in january and it's not like i'm even in a slump because i'm not i think i've just genuinely been so busy that there's been so many other things that are taking my time away from reading and then when i am having downtime um like i've got shows that i want to catch up on like love island and things like that and that's taking up like that one hour of free time that I have to just completely chill um and so yeah I've just been too tired to read when I do have the time to read um and everything so I've only actually we're on the 13th of February today obviously going into the 14th which is Valentine's Day and I've only read one book I think I've actually started two books um I'm reading Bunny on my Kindle and I'm also reading um Carrie Soto is back as like the physical copy like of my books however I've just not had the time to actually sit and read and therefore I've only finished one book this month um and so that for me just is not good enough I have so many books that I wanted to actually get through this month um and yeah so I'm not probably going to be able to read as many books as I did last month and that's fine but I just want to read more than one um and yeah so I just wanted to give a bit of time to read in I'm currently off for a week from uni however I've literally got an assignment to write and so I've got no like proper time off however and I'm off work tomorrow, obviously I'm off unit and I'm off work tomorrow because of Valentine's Day, me and my boyfriend are going for a meal and so I took the day off just so I could spend it with him, well not the day, just the night because I work in the evenings, so I just took the night off so that I could spend Valentine's Day with him um, and so I'm going to pretty much try and just do it all night tonight and then if I need to have a nap during the day tomorrow i can and then when i go to my boyfriend's house i'm going to sleep at his after the meal and he's still got work on the wednesday so he'll be going to bed early and i feel like that's good because then if i'm really tired from doing this challenge i'll be able to go to sleep at the same time with him and it just means that i'm not like watching stuff like on my laptop or anything to keep him up so i just feel like it's the perfect day to do it so i'm just going to keep it very casual this video it's not going to be like a main video um, it's going to be more like a vlog style video i'm probably not even sure how long it's going to last it might not even be a long video um but yeah i just really wanted the motivation to keep me up all night so if i film a video i'll be motivated to do it because i'm filming a video for it so it's currently 10 51 i'll just show you my alexa currently 10 51 it's almost obviously 11 um and i've just done my skincare um i'm already in my pajamas i went to the gym earlier had a bath going to pajamas all of that um and i've eaten and everything like that so i think i'm gonna just get my bed really comfy ernie i don't even know if you can see him my dog hold on he's there um he's literally so tired so he'll probably just sleep the entire time next to me but it's nice to have the company and um i'm gonna literally get so comfy in my bed try and get it really really comfy and cozy and then sit with my book i'm gonna carry on reading carrie soto is back um and then i might end up reading on my kindle for a bit later and read bunny because i really do want to get into bunny and i think i'm literally 10 percent of the way through not even that and i honestly can't even remember what's happened i might even have to start it again i'm not sure um but yeah because bunny's meant to be really weird and it really intrigues me carrie's also is back is a little bit more like self-explanatory she's a tennis player who's coming out of retirement to beat her own record because someone else has just beaten it so she's trying to 
get her record back her world record um and that's why she's come out of like retirement so it's about her training and stuff so i've got a fair bit of the way into carry so always back to me for like 26 percent of the way through i think um so i have got a fair bit of the way into that um and i am enjoying reading that but it's very like mindless i feel like reading that at the moment like it's just about her training for tennis and stuff and you've got a bit of her backstory before she went into retirement but it's pretty much mindless so i feel like i can easily read it um quite fast i just need to sit down and actually do it so that's what i'm going to do it's not even actually that long so like i said i'm going to get my comfies on and i'm also going to no i'm going to get comfy and i'm going to read um later on i think i'm going to get my dad i've already had one coffee um, and i literally had it about an hour ago and not even because i was tired i just was really craving coffee which i know is a bit weird um but i'm gonna get my dad before he goes up to bed to make me another coffee and like a flask and bring that up and might also get him to bring me up some snacks however i do still have a lot of sweets and stuff left over from christmas that i was, I was like given for gifts so i might just eat those um but i'm not actually that hungry so i shouldn't actually need snacks but i might just get a bit peckish through the night but then i can have my sweets as like a bit of a sugar boost i feel like but yes yeah, so i might just get my dad to bring me up a coffee and if we need to trek down the stairs at like four in the morning to get a drink or something we can do but i'm gonna try and not do that because i don't like disturbing people uh, when they're asleep so anyway enough talking that's what we're doing in this video um i'll obviously keep you updated with the timings and everything and if i finish a book and i go on to another book and all of that but i'm probably just going to be focusing on bunny and carry so to his back don't even think i'll be able to get both of them finished in this one night um and not because i'm necessarily a slow reader but because i'm going to be getting tired at times and that'll obviously slow me down um but yeah so hopefully um i will get more into bunny i might have to restart it because i honestly don't really remember what happened um like i said i've literally been reading it very vaguely um so i do want to read that one and yeah hopefully i could get these two books through and then i've got three books that i've read this month and then i can go on to some of the others that are in my tbr trolley that i picked in the previous video for this month because we're not doing well so far and i really want to be able to unwrap some more in march but i'm not going to be able to do that if i don't get through them or at least most of them so that is the plan so let's get started as all i'm probably not going to be extremely strict with myself i think if i am getting tired at certain points i might like put down my book for a little bit and watch some youtube or something because that normally wakes me up a little bit um or obviously if i am literally just falling asleep or even do fall asleep then it's not going to be a success but i feel like if i am getting tired i'm not even going to be able to take in what i'm reading so i might often need maybe even just like half an hour breaks of where i'm doing something else and then going back to reading but obviously we'll just see as the night goes on and um, what i think but just a pre-warning in case that's the plan it's not a really strict challenge it's mainly just for me to try and get through these books what i'm dealing with so i've just kind of made this little slump in the corner um my pillows down here look very crushed but i'll just sort it out when i'm actually sat on it but the pillows are going to be behind i've got my big like u-shaped pillow here which i love lying on i've got some pillows down the back so they doesn't slip down because then that's just annoying so that's like keeping it up i've got my friends a builder bear i've got my like comfort blanket i've got my little puppy i've got my laptop uh because i think i might put on some kind of relaxing music or something or even maybe um a read with me like someone else reading so i love watching those and obviously carrie sort of is back because that's what i'm gonna start on so i have made a, a little dent in it but not as much as i would have like cracked my fan on because it is a bit warm in here uh, so if you do hear like a little staticky noise in the background it is just my fan and not like the sound quality start i have a read with me by peach apple b on it uh this is an hour one so i'll probably keep changing these as the night goes on um and is chilling here it's about to just go to 11 o'clock as you can see or oh, it's just been 11 o'clock so it's gonna just start Um, i feel like i'm gonna go to i feel like 7 a.m is a proper all night because i was thinking maybe six but i feel like if i finish at six i'll end up just falling asleep because there's nothing for me to do at six in the morning but if i get up at seven i could potentially just kind of try and get through my day and then have a little nap in the afternoon and then I'll probably be sorted so I think that's the plan so I'm gonna start reading now and I'll keep you updated with 
like what, what I'm doing. so far i've got my second coffee that my dad made me and i've had a little snack that he also brought for me um i haven't stopped reading the entire time um i'm almost finished with the first read with me it's just over an hour and i'm on page 168 um ready to start a new chapter as you can see and that is 43 percent so i've almost read a full 20 percent more than when i started so um that is really good and i'm actually really enjoying this book i have nothing i've never like cared about tennis like i didn't mind playing it at school a few times um, but i don't like watching it i've never really watched it properly anyway like it's just never been something that i've cared about but it sounds so interesting it makes it sound so fun but i really love how taylor jenkins read like she always writes about um, celebrities and their lives and even though tennis isn't something like obviously like Evelyn Hugo she was this glamorous actress which was so exciting and then Daisy Jones and the Six like they were musicians it was so exciting and tennis isn't something I'd ever be excited thought I'd ever like care about be excited about someone's tennis career and what they do behind the scenes of tennis like training like it's not something I thought I would care about but I'm thoroughly enjoying it it's so good and I do think there could be a little romance on this on the cards which you know how much I love a romance so I'm very excited about this I'm very excited to carry on and see where it's going it's really good so far as always with Taylor Jenkins read quick interruption it's about half 12 I've carried on reading and obviously we know with Taylor Jenkins read books they're all um in the same universe and I think did someone said I haven't actually read Malibu Rising but somebody said that's where Carrie Soto is ever first introduced and then she got her own book in Malibu Rising um I'm not sure if that's true but I'm I think that's the book anyway so she's currently reading a book and she's actually reading an unauthorized biography of Daisy Jones and the Six but she's reading about Daisy Jones and the Six which I just love the little like, reference and I loved Daisy Jones and the Six I gave it a five star and I just love that book and I love the characters can't wait for the film so it's half two in the morning and I've finished Carrie Soto is back I actually finished it quicker than I thought I would I thought I would literally be finishing this at like four in the morning I don't know why I think this is a hard but they always seem bigger than they are and it's not and the thing is with Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing I feel like I absorb it so quickly um and yeah i loved it it was really really good i think i might sit on it for a day or so before i give it a full rating but i'm thinking around the four star range i still love the carrie soto character so and the whole story actually i just loved everything about it but i'm not gonna officially rate it in this video because i want to kind of sit on it for a little bit but yeah so i finished up now it's half two literally officially half two um so I don't really know what to read next. I'm gonna have a look that I was gonna read Bunny. But because Bunny's on my kingdom, I feel like it might make me fall asleep because I can turn my light off and I don't really, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't wanna read Bunny right now. I'm not in the mood for Bunny right now. So I'm gonna have a look at what's in my TBR trolley and I will let you know what my options are. I'm not gonna go into too much depth about all of the books because like i said i posted a video unwrapping all of these um obviously these were actually wrapped these were the ones i picked for the month of february so ignoring ignoring every single one of these books here other than this one so this one and then all of these books from my tbr so i think i'm definitely not going to do akatar because i want to do a full reading vlog on that um, in fact, this is new. This actually wasn't even in my TBR video. I'll just put it there. Um, because it's new, I got it from the works. So probably excluding that one. I'm thinking... I'm actually thinking the cheerleaders. That's kind of what I'm fancying. Because these are my two thrillers. And I'm kind of feeling a thriller. Because the witchery is YA. But it's fantasy. And I feel like I need to be in the mood for that. 
Ariadne's like Greek mythology, which I'm really not in the mood for right now because I'm tired. So it's definitely between these two. And obviously I'm not gonna start this thick book at this time of night. So I'm thinking between these two and I'm kind of leaning more towards the cheerleaders because I feel like it'll be a little bit lighter than behind her eyes and a little bit more up my street for right now and what I'm fancying right now. So I think I'm gonna go with the cheerleaders. It doesn't even look that long either. Um, so this is my next read. Obviously we'll see how long this takes. I predict it based on what my Kindle says. This is probably, let me just see how many pages it is. The writing's quite big though, to be fair. It's just, it's 360 pages long. Um, I would say it's probably gonna take me maybe like three hours to read. Maybe a little bit longer, so maybe about to like six in the morning, so then any spare time that we have left after finishing this book, I will read Bunny um, and try and get further along with Bunny. But I just really don't want to read on my Kindle right now because I feel like it will make me really tired and go to sleep. Because I am slightly tired, but I'm not exhausted where I feel like if I read on my Kindle at the light, I just feel like it's going to make me tired. So I think I'll read on my Kindle. Um, when it's getting to the morning because as soon as it starts getting to like six in the morning maybe like five six in the morning i'm gonna put up my blinds so that i can start seeing some light come in however i don't actually know what time the sun starts to rise i might google that because we're still technically in winter so it'll be like later than normal so i'm actually gonna google that because there might not be any point putting my blind up if the sun isn't gonna rise i just want to get some natural light in my room at that point in time i haven't pulled an all-nighter probably since i was like 16 so this is not easy however i'm doing fine at the minute so yeah the next read is the cheerleaders guys um i failed the all-nighter challenge after the last clip i started the cheerleaders I honestly don't even know what page I got up to, but it wasn't very far and I fell asleep. So I failed the one at a challenge, but I'm still happy that we finished Carrie Salt with Bag. So half a success. I finished the book and didn't stay awake. I'm definitely, definitely going to keep trying this challenge and then if we succeed at the all night challenge, I'll go on to a 24 hour challenge so that's the new plan so this is the first in like probably what will be like a series of all night challenges um I don't even remember falling asleep though to be honest like do you know sometimes you can tell you're gonna fall asleep I feel like if I'd have known that I would have like gotten up and like moved about I do not remember if I'm going I think it was literally I was reading and then I just went so bit of a fail I wanted to like be honest and wake and like show you me now that I've woken up like bed head still in bed <laughs> like I wanted to be honest about it however if you did enjoy this video and you want to see me succeed at a future challenge of staying up all night to read give this video a like and also subscribe if you want to follow me on any other social medias they're all linked in the description in a link tree everything's in there my Etsy shop my <laughs> my instagram my tiktok everything's in there and i will see you guys next time with another book video bye I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.